Welcome back sa ating problem solving ng evolving quadratic equation. So, this is our second problem. No? So, kung hindi nyo napanood yung unang problem, ilalagay ko lang yung link sa ibaba para mapanood nyo at masubaybayan yung lecture na ito. No? So, ngayon, ipopost ko na yung example problem natin. An, ex an amusement park wants to place a new rectangular billboard to inform visitors of their new attractions. Suppose the length of the billboard to be placed is 4 meter longer than its width and the area is 96 square meter. What will be the length and the width of the billboard? So, yung amusement park magtatayo siya ng billboard. And then yung length daw, yung haba nung billboard na to is 4 meters longer than its width no and the area is 96 meter what will be the length of the width of the bill ano daw ang magiging length ng width natin so kung ilalagay natin siya into mathematical equation no gagamitin natin na ang length niya is x so ang mangyari is length Paano ba ang length? Uh, oops. Okay. Length is um, x plus 4. No? Uh, ang length natin is x plus 4. No? Kung gagamitin natin x, let x be the length of the billboard. So, since yung area ng billboard natin is 96 square meter, pwede nating sabihin na Okay, so duplicate ko lang to, no? So, pwede nating sabihin na 96 96 para sa area tapos ang um, width natin is x no? x and then our length is x plus 4 no? so, so ganito yung magiging itsura no? so yung area natin is equivalent to the product of our length and our width. Yung equation na to ay pwede natin siyang isulat no, in the general form. Yung quadratic equation general form. So, ano nga yung general form? Wait lang. The general form is Tanggalin muna natin ito mga ta AX squared Plus bx plus c equals to 0 Uy, bla. plus bx plus c equals 0 okay so it's in general form no since this is a quadratic equation may susulat natin yung formula na to sa ganitong form no paano dito natin gawin sa kabilang page kopyahin natin to dito tayo mag solve no so gawin natin ilipat lang natin to sa kabila 
Parehas pa rin naman siya. Okay. X times X plus 4 is equals to 96. So, X times X, we will be needing design okay mahirap magsulat sa powerpoint x times x no distributive property x times is x squared x times 4 is 4x so positive 4x plus 4x no and then equals 96 oh so since general form ang ano natin so we just have to subtract both sides by 96 so we will have this no x squared plus 4x minus 96 is equals to zero so we are following this form no so we are following this form kinaya natin yung form na to okay so ginawa natin we distributed the uh, uh, multiplication distributive property of multiplication we did that pro the process of we did that process and then we arrive at this answer no so now what we're going to do is solve the resulting equation no is solve na natin ngayon to this one is uh, we can solve this by factoring no we can solve this by factoring maghanap tayo ng number na pwede sa 96 no? two numbers that we can add I mean multiply no? that ang result natin is negative 96 so possible na ang number na to isang positive isang negative no? so, so we are expecting a positive and a negative oops ano nangyari so I am thinking of eight and twelve no so eight and twelve negative four Oh, bucket four. Eight man ang sabi ko. Negative eight plus twelve. No? Okay. So, let's check. Eight. Negative eight times negative positive twelve is negative ninety-six. Tama? No? Tapos, when we add negative eight and twelve, we'll get positive four. So, this is our factored no form no quadratic equation so here we can say that kung a zero property natin no, using the zero property we will have x plus oh, either we have x minus 8 equals to 0 or x plus 12 equals to 0 so we have our value of our um, x is either 8 positive 8 or negative 12 no so yung equation na ano nga equation natin x squared plus 4x minus 96 is equals to 0 no meron siyang dalawang solutions no 
x is equals to 8 or x equals to negative 12. Pero, ang i-consider lang natin dito yung positive value. Kasi ang, ang pinag-uusapan naman natin yung length. Eh. No? Yung haba. So, kung ganun, ang magiging sagot natin ay ang width is 8. So, so our width will be 8 and our length is 12. So, we come up with this answer, no? Width is equals to 8 and length is equals to 12. So, yun. There you have it. Hopefully, meron kayong natutunan ulit sa lesson na to. No?